Last week, GOP candidate, 9-11 conspiracy theorist, and QAnon supporter Marjorie Taylor Greene won her House primary runoff election in Georgia. Cheryl Moles said to Hillary Clinton, I'm going to sacrifice a chicken in my backyard to Moloch. Experts say it was a signal that conspiracy theorists are breaking into the political mainstream. She comes from a great state and she had a tremendous victory, so absolutely, I did congratulate her. People who study QAnon say it's a virtual cult that pushes a baseless global conspiracy theory that a cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles who traffic children are led by prominent Democrats and celebrities like Hillary Clinton and Tom Hanks. There's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to take this global cable of Satan-worshipping pedophiles out, and I think we have the president to do it. It was started in 2017 by an anonymous poster claiming to have classified information about a secret plot by the so-called deep state against President Trump and his supporters. Well, I don't know much about the movement other than I understand they like me very much, uh, which I appreciate. Followers use the hashtag WWG1WGA, short for their motto, where we go one, we go all. In June, Q encouraged followers to take a digital soldier's oath something former Trump National Security Advisor Michael Flynn did via tweet on July 4th. Where we go one, we go all. Where, Where we, we go, go one, we go all. all. Conspiracy theories arise in moments of crisis. Dr. Daniel Jolly is a senior lecturer at Northumbria University who studies the psychology of conspiracy theories. If a credible source is saying, yes, I endorse this particular viewpoint, that is going to have a bit of a way where people are going to start taking more notice to what that person is saying. An unpublished intelligence bulletin from the FBI last year listed QAnon amongst conspiracy theory driven domestic extremists that very likely motivate criminal and sometimes violent activity. Still, according to liberal watchdog group Media Matters for America, 20 candidates, 19 of them Republican, who have expressed support for QAnon have qualified for the November ballot. This week, Illinois Republican Adam Kinzinger posted a YouTube video calling for leaders to disavow QAnon. Denouncing conspiracies shouldn't be the exception. They really should be the rule. And while Twitter and Facebook have blocked thousands of Q supporters, Jolly says that may not be enough. May stop the reach. They will still exist. They will just exist on other platforms. I'm Asha Qureshi reporting.